Well, howdy, friends. We made it to, uh, actually, it's my favorite airport in the world because of uh, what it signifies. I mean, I'm not a certified airport guy. I am a certified bear guy, as you know, but uh, it's my favorite airport because when I arrive in Bozeman, that means I'm headed to the slide in and I'll probably visit Yellowstone National Park. Two of my favorite places on earth. I've been coming to both those places since I was 17 years old. Uh, just always great to be in Montana. Again, one of my favorite places on earth. So uh, we started this morning, got up uh, prior to 4 a.m. We were on a flight to Minneapolis about 30. And uh, heck, we made it to Bozeman, Montana by 10.30 a.m. We've got our Toyota 4Runner and uh, actually we're heading to Yellowstone first for a couple days and then we're going to see Kelly and Johnny and the crew at the slide in and we'll be here all week. So uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot of Montana action coming your way. Well, just a few hours after landing in Bozeman, Montana, we made our way to Gardner and uh, I absolutely had to stop by Parks Fly Shop. We've been coming here since I was 17 years old, uh, buying grasshoppers from these guys. Uh, always, they always give you great advice on fishing the Gardner and Slough Creek and Lamar especially. All right, so we're gonna go find our hotel uh, for the night here in Gardner. Uh, probably grab a quick bite to eat. And uh, our friendly neighborhood cameraman has to uh, take a wicked pee pee. And uh, then we're gonna head into Yellowstone, man. Go do some sightseeing, uh, check some stuff out, check some stuff out for fishing tomorrow. Maybe put on right our seatbelts. And uh, we're also gonna to remember to put on our seatbelts. It is a state law. And I hope you brought your rain gear. Can you see where you're going to? Well, we made it kind of to my final destination here today, our first day of the Montana trip, our first day in Yellowstone. And we're at a place called Buffalo Ford. I think it's called Nez Perce Ford now for some odd reason, but it'll always be known as Buffalo Ford in the world of angling. And it's really almost kind of tragic. Of course, admittedly, uh, the park has closed all fishing um, as of, I believe, July 21st after 2 p.m. Uh, just do, they call it the hoot owl restrictions. But still, this place, Buffalo Ford, at one point was one of the great angling destinations in the world. I mean, this was world famous. 
And you would come here in the 60s, 70s, even the 80s, and the place would be lined with anglers. And you could literally just walk right out and throw a grasshopper during mid to late July, August, throw a grasshopper, and you catch as many cutthroats as you want. And now it's all, it's pretty much gone as far as I know. Um, I have not kept up on it, so I'm not an authority. Uh, but I, I come here almost every year. It's just a pilgrimage that I make, uh, but I don't think I've caught a fish here in about 12 or 15 years. I still come, I still fish, at least for a couple of hours. Just so many memories here for me. This is the f one of the first places that I fished in Yellowstone. I think I was 17. I was here with my dad, my uncle, and my brother. So fantastic childhood memories. Uh, I've been here with so many friends and fellow anglers and had just so many memories uh, having lunch or dinner at the picnic tables here in the parking lot and just hiking up and down uh, a mile or so either way all along this um, upper part. Uh, I should have told you that we're on the, the upper part of the Yellowstone. I think we're just a few miles below Yellowstone Lake. So this is the upper part of the Yellowstone River. And, uh, you know, I just had to come here. It's just one of those things. Even though we can't fish, I'm not a scientist. I'm not an absolute expert on this, but the cutthroat have disappeared in this part of the river due to the lake trout population uh, up in Yellowstone Lake. And it's my understanding, again, that over the years, the lake trout population has just decimated the cutthroats in the lake and in this part. And like I said, I just haven't had a, caught a fish here in, in years. Uh, but I'll keep coming back. You know, it's just one of those things. It's not always about the fishing. It's just about being here, about being one with the place and one with those memories and one with Yellowstone. I mean, there, there's hardly a place other than Slough Creek, uh, which uh, of course we're gonna do bright and early in the morning that signifies Yellowstone angling to me uh, more than Buffalo Ford and Slough Creek. So, yeah, I wanna walk along the river a little. under our belts I think we did I think we uh, hiked about 130 miles or well, at least with the help of the rental Toyota 4Runner cruised around Yellowstone we've seen some sights we did some hiking we did some walking and uh, we saw some of my old haunts uh, we got to see some stuff I haven't seen in a number of years and uh, as always a great day in Yellowstone. I mean, how could it not be a great day in Yellowstone National Park? We're going to make our way back up to Gardner, uh, where we've got a room for the night. And then tomorrow morning, bright and early, uh, we'll be uh, driving in before the sun comes up. And uh, we're heading up into Slough Creek, another very uh, place that's very near and dear to my heart. And uh, we're going to try to get some cutthroats on some dry flies, maybe some grasshoppers. And then we head over to the slide in tomorrow afternoon and get ready to fish the Madison with Kelly and the gang over there. So as always, stay tuned. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Is that you? Is that you, Bear? Good to see you, man. How you been? I fished here dozens of times. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.